What's going on everybody? Hope that you guys are all having a great day today. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the power of Marvel's The Griever at the Ends of All Things, who is a being that is arguably one of the most powerful beings in Marvel, possibly the most powerful being that is not named the one above all, that we've at least seen up to this point. The Griever is a self-proclaimed abstract entity, the embodiment of entropy, she is heat death. And her purpose is to witness the last light fade from the edge of eternity and to grieve for all that is, has ever been, and will ever be. Now, she began to follow the Future Foundation during their journey to create and add new universes to the multiverse to replace what had been destroyed during the incursions. And she took exception to this because as a being whose sole purpose is to witness the end of all things, she clearly has a problem with people creating the beginnings of new things on a multiversal scale. And felt that they had overstepped their purpose. However, she waited until Franklin Richards had depleted his ability to create new universes before she made her presence known. Now, her arrival is one of the most absurd displays of power that I've ever seen. So when she appeared, the sky literally shattered and began to fall. And as she explained who she was, the Molecule Man flew up to try to repair the damage that was done to the sky. But before he could do anything, she pointed a finger at him, deconstructed him down to a molecular level, and then fed his molecules to her endlings. And in an instant, she destroyed all of the hundreds of realities that the Future Foundation had created up to that point. The Future Foundation managed to escape, but she followed them to the universe where they would make their final stand. Now, even though Franklin had lost his ability to create new universes, according to Dragon Man, he still possessed more power than the Hulk, Thor, and Silver Surfer, making him their greatest weapon. Um, so with that in mind, when she arrived, he decided to attack her to keep her busy, to buy time for the others to come up with a plan. But he didn't really accomplish anything because with the flick of a single finger, she caused Franklin to slam into the ground so hard that it caused a crater. A crater. And by the time he managed to crawl out of it, she'd already de defeated everybody else. Now, after defeating the heroes, Mr. Fantastic taunted the Griever, claiming that she would be defeated if she confronted the entirety of the Fantastic Four. And angry that Richards would even question her power, she delivered a trans materializer to him to use to transport the Fantastic Four. But to her surprise, uh, he didn't just transport the remaining original members of the team, but he brought back past members as well, including Wolverine, the Hulk, Black Panther, Johnny Storm, the Thing, Medusa, Storm, and several others. Now, while their allies kept the Griever distracted and protected the Future Foundation, Reed and the Fantastic Four fought the Griever, and after she said that they were all nothing to them, Susan Storm explained that the reason that she had been able to defeat the Molecule Man so easily was that his being was similar to the fundamental foundation of the universe, and the reason that they were all able to actually at least put up a fight against her was because her power is so vast that it was like trying to kill a microorganism by hand, which is pretty much impossible. Now, considering what she did to him the first time that they fought, at this point, Franklin's terrified and does not want to fight anymore. But after a pep talk from the thing, he rejoins the battle. But it didn't work out any better than it did the first time, so he still got, still got beat up, which is what it is. So early on, though, Reed realized that the Griever couldn't travel the different realities under her own power and had to rely on her ship to do it. So he told Johnny to destroy the telepods of the Griever's ship until there's only one left. And even though Hawk performed the task, he was happy to let Johnny get the credit for it, I guess. Um, but Reed then confronted the Griever about her ability to move between the realities on her own, as well as the fact that she was unable to create anything on her own. And after Reed threatened to strand her in the reality where they fight, um, where they were fighting, by destroying the last remaining telepod, the Griever finally backed down and returned to her own native realm, but she swore vengeance before leaving. Shortly after Franklin Richards became fully depowered, the Griever returned, chasing away the refugees of the worlds that she had destroyed. They used a pathway through the Forever Gate to reach the Earth, and with the Fantastic Four unable to shut down the gate because of the constant stream of refugees, the Griever eventually used it to herself to arrive on the planet. Now, when she chased after Franklin Richards to defeat him, he used a remotely piloted armor to lure her into 4 Yancey Street, the Fantastic Four's headquarters that housed additional pocket dimensions inside. And then once she was in there, they destroyed the other dimensions and then they caused the house to fold in upon itself, um, destroying it. But she managed to escape though, due to being an abstract concept. Now, defeating the Fantastic Four and their allies, the Griever attempted to force Mr. Fantastic to teach her how to use the Forever Gate so that she could use it to link up to every place and every time period and fulfill her sole purpose of destruction. And the Silver Surfer managed to stall the Griever, but she defeated him in like 16 minutes, I think it said, uh, prompting him to hand over the ultimate nullifier. He had acquired it on Mr. Fantastic's behalf to Franklin Richards, since he was the only person 
with the necessary understanding of the fabric of reality to use it against the griever. And with the griever cornered though, Mr. Fantastic came up with the idea to offer her the chance to use the Forever Gate for a one-way trip to the future to the natural end of the universe so she could finish it off and she agreed. So let's take a look at all of her feats that she has accomplished in the, in the, in the, the six issues that she showed up in. So. When she first arrived in the universe they were in, she literally shattered the skylical window. When the Molecule Man tried to repair it, she pointed a finger at him and de deconstructed him down to a molecular level and fed his molecules to her endlings. She instantly destroyed hundreds of universes simultaneously. She defeated Franklin Richards while he possessed all of his powers except the ability to create universes with a flick of her finger. She defeated the entire Future Foundation like it was nothing. Susan Summers herself said that the multiverse had never faced a greater threat and keep in mind that this is all happening after the multiverse was destroyed during the incursions, after d dealing with the Beyonder, after the Beyonders killed the Living Tribunal, after Thanos had the Infinity Gauntlet, after Thanos had the Heart of the Universe, and everything else that's ever happened in Marvel up to this point is saying that this, she is a greater threat than all of that, which is, speaks volumes. According to Susan Storm, um, the reason that she killed the Molecule Man um, easily was because his being was similar to the fundamental makeup of the universe, and she was not able to kill or just destroy everybody else because they were simple creatures and it was like trying to kill microorganisms by hand so she was too powerful to kill weak beings which is kind of contradictory but it is what it is um, all the survivors from the realities that she had destroyed came pouring through the forever gate because they were running from her she chased franklin richards into a building that contained many pocket dimensions and once she was inside they deleted all the dimensions all the additional dimensions in it and caused the building to collapse in upon itself and that just pissed her off after getting pissed off, she created these four glowing spheres and put Susan Storm, Ben Grimm, Reed Richards, and Dragon Man inside of them, and they were called Necrospheres. And she explained that they were they were fixed points in time where they would face one of their most likely deaths again and again and again and again, repeatedly until she let them out. Um, she beat the hell out of the Silver Surfer for 16 minutes and 4 seconds, and the Silver Surfer pulled up the Ultimate Nullifier, a weapon that kills whoever uses it, and they were going to have Franklin just to kill her. So they were willing to sacrifice Franklin Richards to get rid of her so that's the feat that she pulled off just by simply existing she does have weaknesses though i mean clearly <laughs> first and foremost she is she's an idiot that's that's obvious she doesn't understand technology um she's not able to create anything and because of that the concept of actually fixing things is beyond her and again despite having the power to destroy multiple universes at the same time she struggles to kill simple creatures now She's a monster. I mean, that's, that's obvious. She is a freak of nature. Um, and I struggle to think of anybody that could defeat her, to be honest with you. But that's all we have got for this video. Um, so thanks for hanging out. Now, if you've made it this far, though, drop me a comment. Put together a team that you think it would take to defeat her. You can use heroes. You can use villains. Um, you can even use the cosmic entities if you want to. You can use anybody you want to, but the one above all. Um, and just whoever you think it could be whoever can defeat the griever at the end of all things and don't forget also to like and subscribe and um you know each of those things is a great help and i will see you guys next time